a little more, it'll tell us a little bit more about it, but yeah, it just feels like, again, they're not quite up to that same level of consistency as the other Chinese teams. But then again, I mean, all gamers has been a little bit spotty as well. Yeah, I'd agree. I feel like this is definitely showing us some potential where they could fall to a team that's around their level. Maybe like an Imperial could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them yeah. if they play in this fashion, of course. If they have a, a big day like they did in their previous match, I feel like they're even competitive against someone like Abaisha. So it really comes down to that consistency. But we'll see what we get here as we go into map number two. Indeed, it is time for Compound. x looking to secure themselves the 2-0 and zero here and Anubis uh, still fighting for survival in the group, but hard to imagine they're going to get it done. Still, it is their map choice, so maybe there's something to be said for Compound. Let's find out as we jump into map two. X-Rock leading off here on the GR side, which is usually the more favorable side to be on on this map for most teams. So already a tough position to fight from for Anubis, but they did have a good BL in map number one. You could see the quick duel there. Neither player connecting the shots on long. A quick back off as well. Nobody really wants to admit defeat in that one. Yeah, certainly not necessary to go for that aggressive of a peak, but GA has been certainly going for some riskier play in this uh, match so far. Um, and if you get that kill, then you have total control over the A room and over that side of the map, and you can even potentially put more pressure on from the GR side. So with every risk comes a reward, of course. But uh, yeah, it does not work out for him <laughs> this time around. Takes a bit of damage, but he is on the arm, so it's not a huge deal. But yeah, very curious to see how Anubis is going to handle this map specifically, as it looks like they do want to put on some pressure in through B for now. None of that util really connecting onto Sunny, though. So he's uh, pretty happy, seems pretty unperturbed. Had Lee there playing anti-flash as well, just in case there was a push to come through the smoke, but no harm, no foul. And I mean, this is kind of what you're going to expect to see from Compound. It tends to be one of the sort of slower maps in the pool. A lot of time, a lot of space to work with on that attacking side before you commit to the fight. And here's where that kind of kicks off. Hassam already starting well. Actually gets rid of the MVP from the last map in Yang which will be a bad sign for X-Rock if someone else can't step up. Lee only good for a one-for-one. One. It's definitely not enough to make things exciting. Chow and Sunny will go down as well and follow suit. And, well, she is just chilling. So X-Rock, fairly indecisive first uh, round on this defense. Yeah, it looks like it is going to be a fairly one-sided round for Anubis, but there is still some potential left for GA to get it done. Finds himself one, almost a second kill there on to seven is in, but Slayer on the rotation catches him off guard and gets the round for Anubis. So again, looking like the making of another competitive blacklist side from Anubis. Yeah, definitely a fantastic start from them. Not only was it a round win, it was a dominant one. The entry was not answered at all. There was the one kill that I think Lee got with just hanging on to the site just barely, but yeah. Just straight mid into A. Nothing too fancy. A little bit of pressure through pillars at first. Didn't really find much, but then a, a quick rotation and a quick execution from the side of Anubis, which is what we expected from them coming into this tournament. I think we were a little bit disappointed when we saw that they weren't really playing too well as a team and, you know, setting up these strong executions. But they've definitely looked a little bit better in that facet today. I'm not sure if it's because of a little bit less pressure and there's like all these different moving parts and you're like, ah, we'll just try our best. Everybody kind of in good spirits in that way. Um, but one way or another, they have looked pretty strong today. Yeah, a bit unfortunate that it's a little bit too little too late. And that's kind of the problem uh, with... I mean, it's not a problem necessarily, but that, that's one of the things that you have to be aware of, I guess, when you're in these group stages. Is it feels like it goes for a long time, right? A five-day group stage, you think we've got plenty of time to adapt, but at the end of the day, you're actually only playing three games. And once kind of like the first two are, are done, you've almost sort of decided your fate in a lot of cases. Yeah, I mean, if you don't get a win, your backs are up against the wall. Yep. And it really depends on your group at that point, you know, how well are the other teams doing, stuff like that. As Anubis, they, they see the rotation out with seven on in, and they immediately push in. A very quick execution. They get onto the site. Doom going to pick up one. So will Slayer and Dipsy. And again, 
Just a very straightforward and clean execution. They get the job done and a pause is immediately called. You can see that X-Rock were not expecting this level of play. Yeah, certainly not happy about it. You can see Yang and GA trying to break back into this site, but if anyone could hit the shots, it is Yang here, finds the first on to Doom. The potential still there, but they've got to get moving. You can see GA here, he knows there's a player on this angle, Ooh. hits the shot, takes it down to the two on one. It's not gonna matter. Slayer gets this one done and X-Rock pull the timeout at the 2-0. Pretty necessary. x rock starting these maps very slow. Same thing happened on Eagle Eye. Just not looking like uh, themselves. Although, the thing is, what is themselves at this point? We're still not 100% sure, really. I thought we'd seen the real x rock yesterday, but again, I'm kind of questioning that. Looks like... Anubis at least are having a bit of fun. Still some smiles around there on their side of the stage. Credit, of course, to them. They're really taking it to x -Rock here. I mean, look, a 10-6 scoreline on map one doesn't look super close, but the way that it played out, it was pretty tight. Yeah, and it was x -Rock's map choice. So at the end of the day, you know, maybe they're not that comfortable on Eagle Eye, but they were willing to stomach it. But now they come in and they say, uh, Compound is where we're going to make our stand. We haven't seen a lot of teams actually uh, pull that off, right? A lot of two zeros, as we've mentioned. Sonny is the king of the assists, and then this time it's Slayer <laughs> that's taking the place of Yang in every other category. Look, 166 ADR, that's not too bad. Yeah, He's five okay. and zero. <laughs> it's okay, yeah, it's all right. I mean, like, yeah. you know, it's not a big deal to me, but like... It is certainly above average. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Only two rounds into this one. I am curious to see what changes will be presented after the pause from X Rock. I wouldn't be surprised with maybe a more aggressive play towards this B bomb site. You can see Sunny pushing out for that early information. He's got that utility in hand as well. Has to be careful if he swings too far. Could be caught by Seven is in, who gets the crack shot onto him. What a way to make it happen. And again, they are finding these openings continuously on the GR side, defense of X-Rock. I mean, they just don't have any way to trade these out. Anubis doing a good job at setting up around them. Yeah, I think that GA has been mostly just playing this A-long, A-room position. And you see that Anubis haven't really played towards that angle at all so far in these three rounds. So not really getting a lot of value out of your defensive sniper. Uh, Yang is on the AK, and he's been good, but not enough to get them across the line. you got to be careful when you are just standing in that doorway, especially when Anubis have been heading in that direction so many times in a row, so many rounds in a row, uh, you know, from beginning to now. As GA, he is just going to get entry down. He wasn't expecting the timer because this time a little contingency of Anubis will push in and take him out. Yeah, the time is running out, but Anubis, they've got the numbers to push in with. You can see them starting to move back towards A, only leaving Dipsy to kind of lurk potentially, but even he will be joining up Yang, the solo anchor on this A bomb site, looking for another big play for his team. He was kind of the king of the A site in Eagle Eye. Chow also pushes up mid to take down the lurk of Dipsy, but Yang, he still has to hold that line here. He's trying to spot for info, and he does have Chow there to help out as well. This could still go the way of x -Rock. You got two good fraggers on this side, and both of them chiming in nicely. Chow with the 3K so far for the round. Can't actually finish off with the 4K. Lee, though, fast on the rotate, is going to try his best to deny the round away from Anubis. A bold peak, but he wins it. And that is the first round on the board for map two in the back pocket of X-Rock. Yeah, I think the thing is, is X-Rock were eventually, as the time was winding down, they had the read that it was coming in from A-Long. And they were just able to set up uh, a very nice crossfire. A couple of guys in there with AKs just pointed directly at the headline of the one door. And, yeah, it was pretty obvious. They even had the rotation coming in as well from the guy from B to eventually get there and help out. That was Lee to finish things off. So even down a member, 
able to stop any aggression coming in onto that A site. Let's see if X Rock can build off of that. Very safe start from them. 3 2. Anubis has that room to maybe push up the middle of the map if they can find this opening. There's nobody defending this B side of the map from mid, though. Only Chow holding on to this off angle. Anubis walking right into the tunnels, though. GA is kind of stuck here, alone in this position, just playing the fall off shot on the window. He's going to get a chance to maybe make his move, though, and shut it down. Patience of virtue here for Gia. He's on the correct angle. Just needs to wait for his moment, and he does get it. Looking for a second peak. That's one thing you can always rely on from Gia. He's not going to stop. He wants to go through the window. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what's... Whatever. Either way, three on two. I mean, it's still good for X Rock. C4 has been dropped just on the door. Very difficult to retrieve here for Seven is in, who has a bit of a task on his hands here. You do also have Sunny sort of pushed into mid and on the flank behind him as well. So he's kind of on a timer here. Somewhat aware of that possibility that the flank could be coming through. Uh, the longer this drags out, the more difficult it gets for Seveners, in particularly if he isn't going to be finding a frag in the meanwhile, which so far has not occurred. He's spotted out Yang, but that also means that he has been seen as well. And Sunny can really start to beat the pace up here a little bit. Although he's even got a line onto the C4, knows he doesn't need to do anything either. So back to back now for X-Rock and two pretty convincing looking rounds. Yeah, I really like what they're doing here, especially towards the B bomb site, kind of setting up these traps. You can see they were so preoccupied trying to take out GA. That Lee just gets that free kill. GA gets another. Plus, and they're already the down to a five on two. A little bit riskier than he probably Jeez. should have played after that. But when you're up in a five on two, sometimes you don't make the best of decisions. I just don't understand. Yeah. Uh, had a little bit of fun was GA just trying to yeah. wipe them up, go for the, the highlight moment. I'm sure it's probably going to be in the highlight package anyway. As now they're here once again into Pillars. They've done this pretty much every time. And either just rotated out or have looked for the picks. Will they actually commit to a push this time? If they have a feeling that the same setup is here from X-Rock, which it is, you could try to root out Gia. I mean, Gia is a little bit farther up to start. And that's going to be it. He gets caught in rotation with a... Smoke grenade in his hand. And Seven as in is going to put an end to that. Just not patient enough for the smoke to fully bloom. And so once again, Anubis have the number advantage. Not for the first time on this map. Slay being pressured by Sunny. That nade's really not going to do anything. <laughs> He's got some fancy footwork, that's for sure. Neither player really shying away from the fight. Yang's gone down elsewhere, by the way. So now Sunny really is incentivized to try and take that fight, but inevitably he will lose it as well. This might be a pretty crispy round for Anubis. Doesn't look like it's going to get too difficult for them. Post plan now as well. Five on two. Chow. Uh, he's going to be helped out by Lee, but you've got to imagine this is going to be a tough retake. Spam through the smoke. Not going to connect onto much. Seven is in. Hits an easy one. And that's that. Five players alive for Anubis. Fist bumps all around. Yeah, really good executions from these guys, especially on the trade setups, always finding their way to hold on to the numbers. And, of course, Seven is in as well, continuing to win these fights. But I'm kind of hoping that GA plays a little bit safer. I feel like he's kind of just going a little bit too all out in these circumstances, peeking wide, going for the frags alone over and over again. But look at this from X-Rock, a full push quickly into the B pillars. They take the free kill onto Dipsy, they back off, and now they've got a huge advantage on the round. Hey, I mean, that's what you gotta do. You gotta mix with your strategies. You wanna challenge him in the pillars this time so you can deny them this setup with Seven as in just staring at the doorway. And, uh, you know, buy yourself a little bit more map control. Maybe you send those three guys over towards the A side, which is where they are at this point in time. It does look like Anubis do want to clear out the room once again. 
Slayer had some uh, some nice trades out last round, and he has been the best performing player so far in this map. So I like trying to set him up, although that shot not going to land. And Gia just going to back way into a more defensive position. Probably the right call at this point. Seven is in. He wants to lead in here to this A bomb site. Slayer working it with him. The bomb now as well. Anubis sending all of their numbers into this bomb site. But look who's on the other side of it. They've got that nice little lockdown position here. But are they going to hold on to it? It's going to be GA seeing what he can do here. Spots them all, but actually whiffs on the connection. Yang goes down as well. And things are not looking too good for X-Rock on this site. Doom hits back to back. One taps Lee. The only hope to hang on gets the double kill. And look Whoa. at this. Sunny with the backstab gets wow. the double as well. And two versus four. X-Rock take it. Yeah, I was going to say that looked like a horrible round for X-Rock. Gio missing the opening orb shot was uh, the catalyst for a waterfall into the side, actually, from Anubis. But in the end, a uh, little bit of magic coming through to 2v4, like you say. Saves the day. It's still looking a little bit shaky here, though, for X-Rock. It has to be said. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that entry was really clean from Anubis and a couple of shots missed from X-Rock, and that's all uh, that you need on the side of Anubis to make that entry happen as that one going to trade a little bit of damage. Chow is out there as well. Big push in from the side of X-Rock, but again, just going maybe a little bit too far, and that will be traded back. Slayer picks up two more kills. He's up to 10 so far in the seven rounds, including this one. As now, advantage Anubis, and the middle of the map has kind of been opened up for them. You can see Yang here, all alone on A long, wants to take this fight onto Slayer. Not going to find the shots just yet. Slayer, though, thinking about the re-beak. And he gets it. It's already three on the round for Slayer. Opening things up quite nicely for another four on two. But it's the same two players they're up against. Don't know that you can really keep asking Lee and Sonny to make it happen in a four on two. That's not very fair. Well, they're kind of in a position to do it. I mean, a little creep in here from Lee. He's found that 1v1 against Dipsy. He's got to be expecting someone in the tower as well. And seems like he is round the corner. Seven is in, under pressure right now. If this 1v1 is completed, oh dear, not again. Another two on four on offer for X-Rock and they have secured it. Unbelievable. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lee and Sonny have just decided, okay, my team is gonna kind of drop the ball. We'll be we'll be fine. Like we said before, these Chinese rosters, they go so deep, and these two guys, we haven't talked too much about them. But two rounds back to back, they are able to put up the numbers in a really kind of sad situation for the team, and they are keeping it together while their teammates are just kind of running at them, having a little bit of fun. And Anubis. It feels bad for them that they are not able to convert these rounds from so far ahead. Yeah, it's just not okay. X-Rock playing pretty far forward on A long here. They've got two players pushed up this time around. It's going to be Yang and GA here. And of course, we've got the duo of the 2v4s over on the B bomb site. See if they have to go for the retake alone again, or will this time around Yang and Chow step up to make sure they hold on? Crazy to see Yang on two and six after the first map this guy had. A very, very impressive performance, but it definitely shows you that this team is very widespread. X Rock, the rest of the team doing the work this time. Yeah, that's what it comes down to, and they're holding on to it. I mean, imagine that Anubis converts both of those 4v2s, then it's 5-2 to two right now from the Blacklist side of Compound, which was their map choice, but then you're really liking their chances going into the second half. Not to be the case. This crossfire is a... It can be cruel like that. It is so, so close sometimes in some of these rounds. It's now Chow kind of holding it, trying to hold it down. He's going to pick up two. As Slayer gets low, he does pick up one himself. But Chow is still here. They can't root him out. He gets four on the round, just peeking into everybody. 
And they time. take it one by one by one by one. <laughs> he picks up all four. He's going to get five, I think. Dipsy's certainly giving away his position. Chow, he wants it. He wants it. You can tell he's around the corner. He doesn't get it. Okay. He's kind of isolated himself into a 1v1 there. A little bit greedy maybe for the 5k. He's still got the flank coming through though, and it will be okay. <laughs> Lee has it on lockdown. Always having to clean up somebody else's scraps, Lee. He's, uh, he's been doing it all game long, <laughs> involved in those 2v4s. Great round though from Chow. Have a look at this. Just crisp aim. Getting it done. One by one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Five to three now for X Rock. It was looking pretty awkward at the start of the map, but they have picked the pace up a bit now. And they're starting to grind it out against Anubis. This time, though, it is going to be Yang who goes down right away. Ooh. GA, though, on the wraparound. Oh. They have absolutely no idea. He gets one and the bomb, gets a second as well. And now Hassam is just shattered here in this one. Chow going to go down on the lurk. It may not matter, though, if this position is held. It is going to be up to Sunny and GA to hold on to this round. GA already good for two here. Looking for that third kill. Is he going to find it? Hassam and Dipsy looking for the challenge. They almost line up, though, for it. But he's still down to 13 HP. That nade not going to finish the job. Sunny starting to work his way on the rotation. What? GA gets the taps as well on to Dipsy, no. making a double. Kill surely not another clutched round from X Rock. Seven is in, is left alone on this bomb site. He's gonna peek oh. it as well. GA gets it done. What an ace! That's ridiculous. <laughs> How many times can you see one individual step up for X Rock? And the funny thing is, it's not even just the same guy. Like, <sighs> that's a masterclass from GA. It's the first two. And then the next two. And then the fifth. Dang. It's just perfect aim every, every single time. Had the, you know, they cleared out the one guy. They didn't expect GA to be hiding behind the little box. I'll tell you what, this really is just everyone kind of making amends for the last map for x -Rock, except Yang. They've said, you know what, Yang, mate? You, you got us through the first <laughs> map. We'll get you through the second map. Effort by committee, mostly this time by X Rock, and there's an entry from Sunny. So good start to the second half as well. I think the mental's got to be at an all-time low for Anubis at this point. Yeah. They've just lost too many of those egregious rounds. I also do think that X Rock are much stronger from the blacklist side, regardless of map. I don't know. They just it, mm. they just kind of turn up into a new gear, and uh, their aggressive playstyle really helps them when they're able to be the ones aggressing onto their opponents, especially Anubis, who have struggled in this position. Yeah, it's a really difficult map now for Anubis to try and be, bring back, even though it is a GR-sided map. I would agree with you that X-Rock is a bit more BL-sided overall on how they perform. So we're going to see if Anubis have anything they can do over towards this position. But of course, it is GA over here again, and we've seen what he can do from this <laughs> spot already on this map. Hassam having some trouble taking the fight. Sunny on the other side of things, able to take down Doom. Chow as well sneaks into the B bomb site. Only Dipsy is here to try and hold it off, but he gets the double kill. Yang looking for the late trade, can't find it. Dipsy is somehow still alive here, looking for a third kill. If he can find his way out of this position, gets Whoa. the third kill, the flick around. Finally, Yang puts a stop to it, but it's down to the 1v2 for Hassam. But the flank oh. is right behind him, and this should surely be a free kill. Jie. What are you doing? Just give him a little swing Ooh. here. Now Hassam uh. has a chance. Gets the 1v1 on to Yang. Gets no. the 1v2. And there you have it. Anubis find the round. The one time Gio decides that he wants to be patient. Can't believe it. Anyway. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> you know, yeah, this is just... The last like five or so rounds have just been a highlight reel in themselves uh, with multiple different members stepping up to the plate and having some insane moments. But yeah, ends on a little bit of a low mm -hmm. light, I suppose you could say. Just you, you got to know the positioning of your teammate. He's in there in the servers. You got to kind of push in as you would expect Hassam to be pushing in. Maybe thought he would take at least a second or two longer. And that little bit of hesitation is all that Hassam needed to uh, pick up a highlight of his own at the end of it all. And so now, 6-4, to four, Anubis, they get the first round on Global Risk. And maybe they can get something going from here. 
Yeah, Nubis playing a little bit forward towards the B-bomb site. Nothing too risky, though. Fairly safe overall. It's going to be up to Hassam, though, on this jump spotting angle. Looking for that push out on a long. It's a tough timing, though. A lot of players choose this jump spot, but if you have one second wrong, uh -huh. you get caught like that. GA gets the kill onto Hassam, and now they've got control over this A bomb site. Only Doom left to try and hang on. He's good for one. It's not going to matter, though. Slayer left alone. One versus four. We've seen a lot of clutches in this map, but not this time around. But not a lot from Anubis, unfortunately. Majority have come from x -Rock. You almost feel like Anubis is going to kind of need a probably another two or three clutches to actually win this map. And they're running out of time. That is seven for x -Rock. So three away from also securing a 2-0. And Ghana was able to do that earlier today against LCK. It's a good oh, start, man. though, from seven is in. <laughs> that was a really thin angle. Didn't even see Lee as he just disappears. And now he's still pretty far up. Seven is in trying to make a name for himself here in this one. And uh, he's certainly doing a good job so far. As now, Dipsy going to be isolated. Just <laughs> pistol down. I suppose Yang did a little bit of damage to him as well. Seven is in. Picks up a second one in mid. C4. They can't root him out just yet. Sunny. Oh, down he goes. <laughs> Three for seven is in as he holds on to the middle of the map. I can't believe it. He's just jumped out of the window with a C4 in hand. Tried to take the 1v1 in mid and just lost the C4 in the middle of the side. It's just... They're going to have to retrieve the bomb. I mean, 2v4, it's not easy. Oh! And seven is in. I can tell you the Chinese cast has got excited about that one. Not another ace, right? Or maybe angry about it. <laughs> Both. I mean, now it's all up to GA. One versus four. A tough clutch to try and pull off, but they have no idea he's behind. But seven is in. He wants this ace. Aww. He's not going to find it, though. GA, good for a first. Mm, but is about... there more left? One minute on the clock. Yeah. That C4 being down makes this so much more difficult, though. Well, what about GA? One more time. We've seen some pretty good stuff from him on this map. This would be insane if he's able to pull this off. Uh, That's an interesting <laughs> decision. <laughs> oh, this map has been a lot of fun so far. It did not work like that, I guess. Well, yeah, it has been fun. That's one way of putting it. Looking at that replay, though, here from 7 is in. Beautiful 4K on the round, especially those Colt follow-up shots. I mean, just two crazy shots back to back, but this time it's an aggressive play on mid from Anubis, and it works quite well. Already a three on one, but GA, this is a little bit more winnable. Seven is in down to 10 HP, Hassam around 30. He could find his way out of this one if he can find the one on ones. He's also got the AK instead of the arm, which should be better in the situation. But Anubis, they are roaming as a unit here. You can see them pushing out of the B tunnels into the BL spawn here with their entire team. They're also going to soon spot this C4 down on the top side of middle. And GA has no idea this wolf pack is right behind him. This is the right way to play it for Anubis. Just run as a pack and that, ooh, that timing was nearly it for GA. Oh. Grenade does uh, maybe one damage. GA now knows where they should be. He's gonna try to take a long angle himself. And this is smart. I mean, there's still a lot of time on the map. You get one long kill, makes it a 1v2. You never know what can happen from there. So you see Seven is in is trying to hold this angle and might see GA first. He's got to clear everything, though. That is a good start. Seven is in was the low HP player, though. So he'll probably be the easiest of ones to get down. GA should be double swung here and is. Good job by Anubis. Crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sure that round is converted. Yeah, I mean, this is still another close map on our hands here. Anubis really holding their own and shutting down these aggressive plays from X-Rock. You could say, though, X-Rock is playing these a little bit sloppier than they should in a lot of circumstances, not really playing as a team, just kind of wanting these individual plays to be enough to carry them through. And to be fair, at times it has been, but when Seven is in starts to step up, when Slayer starts to step up, 
becomes a lot harder to make those rounds happen in the clutch. And if you look at the start of round, actually Anubis in this match has won the numbers up pretty often. Well, we're going to slow things down from here. X-Rock going to be forced to push into Anubis, which did work that one time here from the Blacklist side. That was close, Doom. Playing with fire as GA has been definitely a focal point. When we do look at X-Rock, he's been left uh, last one alive multiple times, trying to get the clutches out. Challenge just, you know, he's readjusting. Scratching his head. <laughs> He's got a little bit of time here, it looks like, before they are going to make a move on this map. Slayer, though, in position. Same position Chow was in when he picked up a 4K, but this is not going to be good if he peaks this angle. He is gone as Chow's patience pays off. And now they're going to look to push in through mid and potentially go to B, but first in through the spawn as they smoke off B. Dipsy's still in here trying to hold this angle, but it has been totally broken open here by X-Rock. As they are getting in, two kills for seven is in though, as Bomb. this guy is the clutch master, it, is, it appears. Yeah, one of those kills is crucially the C4, which means it's going to be forced to be retrieved by X-Rock now. So Util's getting tossed on out, and that's why Great Lee's game. making that push. He's trying to get around to help the C4 be retrieved, and inevitably it does get picked back on up. But yeah, we are back to the two on two. Clutch on offer for Anubis, as we said. They're going to need to win one or two to uh, make it through to a map victory here on Compound. And here is another one that they can have a crack at. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Seven is in. Letting Dipsy go first. He's got the Orm in hand. And it's Chow and Yang on the other side of it. Chow who has changed his position up and will catch Ooh. one off guard. It's over before it starts. x up to eight. Just making the target a little bit more unreachable for Anubis, unfortunately. Yeah, a tough one there. You got to hand it to these guys. Some really solid attempts, though. They took the 2v5 down to a two-on-two. -two. Seven is in as well. His debut CFS appearance, over 180 R here in this map. So really solid to see from him throughout this one. GA goes for the pick, though. Seven is in, not so successful this time around. And X-Rock grabbed the early five on four advantage. And this could be the momentum they need to get to that finish line. Yeah, just a classic, just the most classic caster curse I've seen all event uh, from Kyle. Very nicely done. Uh, but yeah, I do agree. I, Seven is in has been a, a joy to watch so far. It kind of leaves you wondering why he wasn't playing before, but obviously maybe just having a, a real big day out. And he's certainly fulfilling what the team needed. Just not sure it's going to be enough to get across the line against a team as strong as X-Rock, who is pushing in three members with the bomb. Just a 3-1-1, maybe trying to clear out the room. Will they push any farther into Hassam, who has been playing this angle very often? So it's going to be predictable. Down he goes, one headshot, chow. And now they look to push farther. Yeah, Doom alongside Slayer. It's still quite a nice crossfire setup. But you've also got X-Rock members who are pressuring in from mid, and that's going to be a problem for Anubis. Timing, huge factor here for both of the teams. Yang going to show his presence, and the push comes through, but Doom answers that call nicely. Two headshots, there goes Chow and Lee. Sunny Lot looking for the trade, and Slayer's got himself one in mid as well. It's fallen apart for X-Rock. C4's dropped. Gia, he's got time to play with here. He can go for the big old flank. Don't think he's going to be able to isolate a 1v1 here, though. I might have spoken Ooh. too soon. That is so <laughs> unfortunate for Anubis. And Gia is just sharp enough to get the job done. One more to go now for X-Rock. Gia was on top of the multi-kill list. He's going to secure him spot, his spot at the top of that list once again. With another multi-kill. Picks up three on the round, and now they are on match point. Might be back-to-back 10-6s -to -back if Anubis can't stop them here. A lot of early utility damage this time, though, coming out of us Hassam here on to Sunny and Chow. Good early utility stall, but X-Rock, this is exactly what they need to do. The mid-aggression, very well timed here. Yang gonna find the first, a quick trade onto Sevenazin. Gets them the numbers and the sight. 
Gia. Can he win the fight though? No, he cannot. Slayer takes him down on the rotation. Mm. Now this is pretty equalized for the retake. Yeah, but that's not necessarily the critical fight, right? If Gia goes down, okay, it's not the end of the world for X-Rock. Three on three, post plan. X-Rock should still be slightly favored here. Lee, oh, he's jumping up to try and help Sunny. They both look a bit isolated, a bit stuck, but in the end, it is going to be Slayer who is brought down. Still, Dipsy and Hassam trying to put in the work. One to go. It's only Dipsy, and he's not even in the site just yet. And all it takes is one good trade here from X-Rock, but oh, it almost didn't come through. Still, 10-6 will be the score, and it's 2-0 today for X-Rock.